Friends, today we talk about process capability for non-normal data. In this uh, video, we talk more detail about box cost transformation and Johnson transformation. So let's get started. When we want to use normal capability tools, but our data are non-normal, we can attempt a data transformation to satisfy the non-normal assumption. Uh, to illustrate, consider this process that seals bags of nut. Operators insert each bag between two metal bar, between two metal bars, one of which is heated and seals the bag shut. If the seals are too quick, the bags may open during shipment. If the, met, uh, if the seals are too strong, customer may have difficulty opening the box. Seal strength is the force required to open the box. To study pro the process, the operator randomly samples 250 bags, 250 bags from uh, a batch and measures their seal strength. Look at this histogram of data. Do th uh, these data appear normally distributed? So this histogram is skewed to the right, and the p-value for the Anderson Darling test is less than 0.05. So both the histogram and p-value indicate that the data are not well modeled by the normal distribution. So how can we use normal capability capability tools to study process data? that are clearly not from a normally distributed population. We can try to transform the data into values that follow a normal distribution. If the transformed values follow a normal distribution, we can use the normal capability tools we studied earlier in this chapter. We normally use these two, uh, two transformation methods to transform non-normal data to normal, the box cost transformation and the Johnson transformation. The box uh, cost transformation is simple to understand, but does not always identify a successful transformation. The Johnson transformation identifies a successful transformation more often than box cost, but is but is more complicated. And both attempt to transform data math, math, mathematically so the data follow a normal distribution. The Boskov transformation work by rising each value to a power between, uh, between minus 5 and 5. This value is called lambda. Note that a special case applies when lambda is zero. Here we take a natural log. We take a nat uh, natural log of each value. Let's use uh, box cost transformation to, ta to try to transform the data, uh, the non-normal data, non-normal seal strength data of nut, nut bags. The goal is to find the lambda that transforms our non-normal data to normally distributed data. The best transformation will result in a data set uh, uh, in a data set whose variability is as small as possible. This graph plus the standard deviation of function of y versus lambda. The 95, 95 confidence, confidence interval uh, provide, provides a likely range of values for the true parameter of lambda. The value that minimizes the standard deviation of a function of y is the estimate for lambda. In any practical situation, <clears throat> you may want a lambda value that corresponds to, a, to an understandable transformation, uh, such as the square root a lambda of 0, <coughs> of 0 0.5 or the natural log a lambda of 0. 
So this is rounded value in this example. 0 0.28 is a reasonable choice because it falls within 95% confidence interval. Therefore, the uh, the y power uh, y power uh, 0 0.28 transformation may be preferred to the transformation defined by the best estimate of lambda. Look at this uh, histogram of the transformed data. So do the transformed data seem to fit normal distribution? Okay, so yes, the histogram is bell-shaped uh, bell uh, and approximately symmetric, symmetric about the mean, which is characteristic of the more normal distribution. The data now follow a, follow a normal distribution. A p value of uh, p value of zero point uh, zero point eight four five in the Anderson Darling uh, Anderson Darling test confirms that y power uh, zero point two eight transformation much the shield strength data appear normal. We can use this normal data to calculate capability indices. And here is process capability report using box cost transformation with the lambda of 0 0.28. Okay, so let's review. The bus cost transformation can often transform non-normal data into normal data suitable for non uh, for normal capability tools because uh, box cost transformation is easy to understand. We use it when possible. If we cannot find a suitable box cost transformation, we can try the Johnson transformation. Okay, so let's talk about the Johnson transformation uh, when we want to use normal capability tools but our data are not normal we can transform the data to fit a normal distribution we can use uh, we can use one of the following trans uh, following two transformation the box cost and the Johnson transformation the box cost transformation is simple to understand but does not always work the Johnson transformation works most of the time but is more complicated. Both attempt to transform data math mathematically so the data appear normal, normally distributed. When the box, uh, box cost transformation does not adequately transform our data, we can try the Johnson transformation. Uh, so it selects one optimal distribution function to transform the data into normal data. Consider a ABC company which sell books. They state that orders are filled within 24 hours, within 24 hours, so that the customer can place orders in time to receive book. If the warehouse if the warehouse doesn't meet the specification. Uh, the company could suffer damage to its reputation and business. The warehouse that processes incoming orders must arrange and, deli uh, and deliver orders within 24 hours of receiving the request. The warehouse director samples 100 orders and verify that the data are stable over time. So is the process capable of filling orders within 24 hours. Before we can study the capability of our processes, we need to determine whether the data are normal distributed are normally distributed. The normal pro uh, probability plot shows that this is not the case. The data do not fall on the line and the p-values for the under Anderson Darling test is less than 0 0.05. So let's see if we can transform 
this data into normal data using the Johnson Johnson transformation. As that uh, as stated previously, the Johnson transformation is complicated, but when we use the tool in any statistical software, it will identify the most appropriate function for us. If a transformation exists, let's look at the section of output that tells us about the Johnson transformation. And if it is able to make the data appear approximately normally distributed, these are the probability plots for the original and transformed data. As stated previously, the, the Johnson transformation is complicated. This is a function that we will use to transform this data. Compare the pro probability plot for the original data with the transformed data. The Johnson transformation makes the data appear normally distributed. Because the transformed data are well modeled by the normal distribution, we can apply normal capability techniques to the deliver process. Use the Johnson transformation. Using the Johnson transformation, so does the capability analysis show that the delivery time is within 24 hours? The capability resulted in the either PPK of 0 0.08, which does not meet the general accepted guideline of 0 0.33. So this process is not capable of meeting. Specification, uh, specific uh, specification. So let's review. The Johnson transformation can often transform non-normal data into normal data suitable for normal capability tools. The transformation selects one optimal distribution function to transform the data into normal data. Thank you for your listening. In the next session, we talk about the alternative distribution.